guys, what's up? It's Mr. Ninja here. Today we are back on Would You Rather. Now today, we have to figure out would we rather fight an entire Smurf village or fight the full collection of Care Bears. Now this is a really silly one straight off, but just imagine. Okay, so I believe Smurfs are really small, but Care Bears aren't really that much bigger. And they're a little bit bigger. Uh, if we're going to go by the Smurf movies, I believe they're about yay big. Whereas Care Bears are, you know, bigger. Um, Smurfs are smart. And I believe Care Bears are just kind of like love filling things. I don't know. Are they going like, to turn evil on me? I'm pretty sure they also have magical powers. So between the two, I, I kind of want to fight the full collection of Care Bears. Oh, but people would rather fight the Smurf Village. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's an interesting one. I didn't really know what to, to choose on that one. So, next up. Would you rather own an Xbox 360 or own a PS3? Uh, so not an Xbox One or a PS4, which is more up to date. Let's be realistic here. PC all the way. PC master race. <laughs> um, but between the two, I had an Xbox I played more on Xbox than on PS3. The main reason was because I had a better controller, but I'm not trying to offend anyone out there. I'm just saying that I would kind of rather an Xbox 360. Anyways, would you rather be barefoot for the rest of your life or wear Crocs the rest of your life? Now, this brings a uh, interesting story up. Um, I would rather be barefoot, and the reason is is because if I'm wearing Crocs and my feet get in cold water or just in water in general, I think it's cold water. I actually, um, I, I get cramps in my feet. Like really, really bad cramps. And I don't know why, only Crocs do it to me. And it's, it's just water mixed with Crocs gives me cramps. So I'm gonna have to be barefoot for the rest of my life. And to be fair, barefoot is not a bad thing. I like being barefoot. My nose is itchy today. I'm sorry, it's one of those n itchy nose days. Alright, so, would you rather overdose on every drug at the same time, oh my goodness, fall from a hundred foot story, or fall off a hundred story building? Okay, here's the question, do I die from either one? <laughs> oh man, see, when you fall off a hundred story building, you have a hundred stories to just... I don't know, you're dead either way, but you're falling 100 stories and it's like, well, shoot, I'm dead. Doesn't say if I get to have a parachute or anything. Uh, I'm guessing I don't. Or overdose in every drug at the same time. Now, typically I would not say anything towards drugs, but if I overdose in every drug, there is a chance that I would have an immediate death. Now, I fall, I'd rather fall off the 100 story building because, I mean, I'm, I, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out a way it's cool, not, not just, drugs and that's it. That sounds awful. Would you rather hoard or compulsively clean? Compulsively clean. Um, the thing about hoarding is like you never can find something again. Whereas compulsively clean is just, you know, too much of it. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Yeah, everyone choose the compulsively clean. Okay. Would you rather go to jail for 60 years or die? Well, let's think. If I go to jail for 60 years, um, I wouldn't be too, I mean, I'd be pretty old, but I wouldn't be too old to get out. Um, I think, I think in the long run, I would rather spend 60 years in jail, because dying is just done. You know, there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing left. You don't get to do anything else. So I would probably rather be in, oh my goodness, people would rather die than go to jail. No, I think I'd rather go to jail than die because a life matters. <laughs> All right, would you rather travel the world confined to a in a wheelchair, okay, or spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius? Now, 200 miles is a long ways, but being in a wheelchair wouldn't be awful. I mean, you'd have to be carried upstairs and things, and I honestly, I've hung out with people in wheelchairs. Those people are the happiest people on earth. So, that being said, 
I want to be really, really happy, I'd probably be in the wheelchair. And you do get to travel the world. It's like, they didn't say anything about you have to have expenses or anything like that. I'm guessing that's all paid for. Or spend a whole life in 200 miles. That 200 mile radius is great. I love my legs. Oh, man. I, I'm not sure on this one. It's going to give me a second to think about it. I think I'm going to have to say I'd rather my legs. I mean, I would rather travel, but without my legs, I mean, if I get to travel the rest of my life, it would be great. But I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting that at some point I'm going to come home and stay at home for a while. So I think I'd rather have my legs for that reasoning, but I'd rather travel than stay the 200 mile radius. So that's kind of... Kind of hard weather. Okay. Would you rather get B's and C's at Ivy League school or get A's at a standard university? U university. Okay, so Ivy League schools are really hard schools. Like, getting that grade is really impressive. Getting a B in that is impressive. Getting an A in a standard university, um... It's impressive, but it's not as impressive. I think I'd rather get B's and C's in Ivy League school than an A. Um, and this is coming from someone who gets A is typically the whole deal. Um, the other side is that Ivy League schools cost more. So it's, it's, this all depends on whether I have to pay it back. If I have to pay it back, then definitely standard university. But Otherwise, I think I'm going to go with an Ivy League school uh, because there's there's more intelligence to be shared there. Oh, wow, a lot of people like that. A lot of people would rather have A's. Okay. Would you rather have your elbow joint facing the opposite direction or have your knees facing backwards? I'm trying to imagine this real quick. If my, if my hands are behind me, Having these facing backwards. Hmm. I could like. <laughs> I think I'd rather have the elbow joint facing backwards. I don't think I don't really know what life would be like with backwards knees. That would be weird. Would you rather eat a tablespoon of salt or eat a tablespoon of cinnamon? Clearly, cinnamon. I'd rather garlic powder, personally, but, you know. Would you rather read Lillian or read The Odyssey? Ooh. Read Lillian or The Odyssey. I'm not a big reader either way, but I know Odyssey was a pretty good story, so I'm going to stick with The Odyssey. Yeah. Would you rather be a vampire who can transform into a bat? Or be a ghost who possesses only appliances. <laughs> they can only be possess appliances. Now, I'm guessing I could be a ghost without, you know, possessing anything. I just, ooh, you know, I'd, that'd be awesome. You, like, go to the fridge, like, no, no more food for you. <laughs> um, but long run, I think I would rather be a vampire. I mean, I'd have a nocturnal life. I couldn't go out in the sun, but... I mean, the ghost can't really be seen outside of through its possessing of appliance. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the vampire one. That sounds cool. Alright. If you only had one hour left to live. Jeez. Could you imagine? Okay, before I even get started with this. One hour left to live. What would you do? So, would you rather spend your last month with your family... Or do something crazy that you've always been scared to do. Now, I spend very little time around my family. I try to stay as far from them as I can. Not because I don't like them, but because I just, I'm that way. I, you know, I'm typically that way. And when it comes to this type of story, my honest truth would be do something crazy. Um, never really been the big family guy. I'm, I'm a friend guy. I love hanging with my friends. Family is a little bit further for me. Um, although I do spend some time with them, I think I would rather do something crazy. Oh wow, a lot of people, a lot of people would rather spend time with their family. I mean, if I hadn't seen them in years, then yeah, it would be different, but I just saw them a couple, a couple days ago, so it's not, 
terrible, and I have an hour left to live. So, would you rather eat a quarter or eat chapstick? <laughs> oh my goodness. Swallow a quarter or, or eat chapstick? Chapstick tastes good. I'm going to be fair. There's some really good tasting chapstick out there, so I think I'd rather eat chapstick. <laughs> 69%. Whoop, <laughs> whoop. All right. All right, we're going to do a couple more here. Would you rather be a cyborg or be an animal-human fusion thing? Oh. Ooh, okay. Think about, <laughs> excuse me. Think about being a cyborg. Because I'm guessing I still have a human brain, so I wouldn't really be able to live forever. I was just thinking that might have been something. But be a cyborg or a human animal fusion thing. Like one of those, I don't even know what they're called, the, like the horsemen, whatever they're, they're called, the half horse, half man. I think I'd rather be a cyborg, though. Cyborg sounds way cooler. Shoot lasers and things. So, yeah. And I mean, I probably have all these cool gadgets and stuff, so I'm going to stick with cyborg. Would you rather sleep in your parents' bed every night? Oh, wow. Or weep every time someone tells you a joke, tells a joke in front of you. <laughs> this is bad. Um, I don't sleep that much, but if I had to sleep with my parents every night, I don't know if it'd be a terrible, awful issue. Whereas a lot of people tell me jokes. I love jokes. Jokes are like my life. I love joking around. So, I mean, would it be like crying or would it be like laughing crying? There's a difference between sad crying and laughing crying. People would eventually stop telling you jokes. I'd rather sleep in my parents' bed. Sorry, Mom and Dad. I'm coming back. <laughs> stay in your bed. Would you rather have x-ray vision or have laser vision? So, of two superhero powers of Superman, would you rather have X-Man, x-ray x -ray vision, or laser vision? Okay, so, um, x-ray vision would be cool. You can look through things. Laser vision, you can set things on fire. I don't know what I could ever use laser vision for. You know, laser vision would be one of those things like, you can start a fire anytime you want it, but you can also weld some things. You could weld, the, you could do, you could be a very good welder. But, x-ray vision also has its advantages, and you can look through particular clothing. No, uh... Yeah, actually, I already sold myself on it. <laughs> All right, this is a question for you guys. Uh, we're going to end this one here. Would you rather punch every trick or treater that knocks on your door in the face? <laughs> Bang! Or answer the door for trick or treaters completely naked? <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> I could just imagine this. Trick or treat, trick time! Bang! <laughs> well, eat both ways, it's a trick. But, uh. <laughs> answering the door naked would be completely hilarious. So, make sure to uh, tell me down below in the comments what you think. I wouldn't rather do it either. I would love doing both. And I know it sounds awful, but I think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave that double thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely tell me what you think down below. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.